Hello everybody, this is Drake, like the dragon of the rapper, speaking to you from the future after this actual video was filmed. Yes, this is my first experience voiceovering my own shit. Um, this is prologue of the game Black Book. It's sort of based in some uh, Slavic mythology, which is kind of dope. Um, I can't see what it says on the screen super well. I remember saying... Could you add some more commas in the Bible, please? Because this is a bit hard to read all at once. Anyway, yeah, um, so I'm just gonna try and uh, give you words from memory. Because, like, on my screen, all the text is pretty low. So I'm just not gonna actually read anything. And I'm going to uh, try to just recall what was being said. Here I was, like, admiring how it was written, kind of... Obviously not uh, fully in English, inspired by Slavic languages. And I was like, I think I'll go with normal. That seems like the thing to do for the first time right now. And then I'm going to choose normal. And I'm choosing normal. What was I even saying? Just click normal. Just click the difficulty. Bro, can you click it? Click it. Click, click normal. Click normal. Do it. Words, wording good, uh, exposition, exposition, a young lass born to her grandfather, I mean, he, she was raised by her grandfather, not born to him, I suppose, small village, grandfather who is a witch, question mark, granddaughter who did not want to be a witch, but granddad who was like, no, you're gonna be a witch, you little shit. And you're gonna get married to this dude, and oh, she was like, ah, oh, this man's special. What a special man that I'm going to marry. And then he was like, psych, I'm gonna kill myself. And then she was like, no, no, that can't be. And then he was like buried outside of holy ground because um, religion hates people who have mental health difficulties. And so he's in hell, basically. And she's like, well, if I become a witch and I start fucking around with necromancy, then I can bring him back, right? And Grandad was like, yes, you need to break these seals and then you'll get a wish. And then you can wish for him to be back, you know, in the world or the land of the living. And she was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna be a witch now. So then she was like, what I need to do to become a witch and her granddad was like, you need to meet me at the crossroads. And there we will open the first seal, I think, or something of the sort. It's an initiation to being a witch. Here I remember saying, oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like the name of the game developers. Nice trees, game. Nice clouds, game. Oh, the year? Cool. Totally makes sense. Panning down to the world. It is difficult not to talk every second because there is no game audio. Maybe I will need to add like nature sounds or something for this shiz to not be soups boring. Anyway, I'm like talking to my uh, dead fiance. I'm like, damn, I wonder where you're at. Um, I hope you're sleeping well. And then I said... Well, he's in hell. We, we know that he's in hell. Um, that's where he, that's where he's at. And he's probably not sleeping super well. There, uh, you see, I pointed at, like, the where you at. Because he's in hell, bro. Like, chill. Oh, I hate myself. Um, so I'm just gonna, like, sit here and wait for shit to happen then. Okay. I was like... Damn, I gotta get myself together and go become a witch and, you know, enroll in some dark-ass rituals so that I can bring you back to life. Because I don't think you killed yourself, I guess? But if you did, this would be super wrong because I should honor your wishes uh, even though they hurt me. Um, and I wouldn't want you to suffer. But, like, I guess you were murdered, though? Okay, so now I'm gonna be like... Ooh, I'm clicking on things. Do I say anything else about the grave? No. Do I say anything else about the trees? Not really. But then I'm gonna go off to the side and I'm gonna be like, Oh, 
a plant that heals me and I'm gonna pocket the plant and then I'm gonna like turn around and say okay um, I guess I'm gonna go to the crossroads to be initiated as a witch that is yeah let's go at this point I remember saying oh I have no face but it is still very pretty and uh, all the clicking is kind of, I don't know, giving me light journey vibes. Although it's all a click and point thing. The keyboard does nothing. I think that was another one of my remarks. I am very observant and um, great at commentary. And I'm going to jump over that fence, I guess, and on to the crossroads. And oh, another cutscene. Look at me walking through this forest. A look at that sun going down. Initiation of a witch. <laughs> oh shit. Getting initiated. Damn. I'd like to initiate the end of my fucking life because I have to do this. Oh, this is like, ah, you gotta take part in this fucking ritual. Read from the black book, fight a demon or some shit. And then it's like, oh, but you can look around first, though. Getting so, good at wind noises, guys. so I thought to myself, oh, okay, I'll look distance, around. The and then I realized I'm supposed to click look around. Here I am. Looking around. Um, what am I going to click on? Who knows? Anticipation. I clicked on that. There was a bug there because I was checking if the software was still recording. It was. Um, it said something about old graves, I think, at the crossroads. Good for them. And then I was like, what's this over here? Oh, it's a signpost just telling me the mileage to the next village. But then, to my surprise, I look down and I see some candles. I also remember saying, who's staring at me from the woods? There's literally eyes right there and I'm not acknowledging it at all. But okay, I guess. And then I walk back and I start talking to uh, this old coot. And boy, does he have a lot to say. Come on, girl. Click further away. Oh yeah, this dude does not shut the fuck up. He's got a very funny accent, the voice actor. Definitely not of the Slavic persuasion. No idea what he was going for there, but... You know, it's a thing. Um, kind of looks like a Naruto character. Like a Naruto elder. But yeah, they're just chatting now uh, about stuff and things and things and stuff. And then he was like, you need to draw a circle, but don't leave any gaps. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna draw a circle. But then it didn't let me draw a circle. She just drew a circle. And I was like, is that good? And he was like, uh, you didn't leave any gaps, so it was adequate, granddaughter, who is not going to disappoint me because she's going to be initiated as a witch. Otherwise, I would have been so disappointed, painfully disappointed even. No idea what they're talking about now. Um, something about the fact that I'm gonna cite from the book and like, oh yeah, he was like, oh my god, you just barely touched the book and look at all the dust and stank that it's going off. He's like, whoa, that's a stanky book. You are a very powerful young witch uh, and you shall surpass me very soon. I decided to click on I'm so scared because I thought, well, why not have some more dialogue, you know? I am going to regret that decision because I now have to read the dialogue. There is voice acting in the game, uh, if I didn't make that clear. It's just that I lost all of it. Um, well, I didn't lose it. It was never there to begin with. The, the software just uh, didn't want to give me the W on this one. So I think at some point now, we are going to summon a demon and I'm going to battle the demon to be initiated as a witch. We are almost at the battle portion of the game. Come on, do it. 
Oh, and there we go. I think at this point, I mentioned how this scene right there really reminds me of the uh, animation in Ruby in the animated series, if any of you know about it. Just because the demon kind of looks like a grim and the animation of the characters, the backgrounds, just all giving me that sort of vibe. I I also remember mentioning how uh, this looks like kind of a cute cat horse demon. And I would prefer to befriend it than to slaughter it. Um, and that's going to explain to me how to uh, battle it. It's basically like... Gwent, except uh, the other person doesn't have cards, and you just throw cards down. So like, one-sided um, pagan Gwent. So I, I assume the sounds are kind of going like, ding, and like, whoosh. And then the demon goes, when it gets hit. And then it goes rawr, and I get hit, but I got a defense going, so I'm not really getting hit. So you gotta balance out the attacks and the defense. It's all very strategic and not at all difficult and uh, quite easy and um, simple to get used to. Kind of intuitive. I enjoyed it. Ah, oh, yes, and I'm circling the screen because I'm explaining how it reminded me of Ruby, uh, which we've already been over. Move on past me. You need to, you need to move on. You are unnecessarily dragging things along. Ah yes, cards. Playing the cards. This is me. Okay, so so here I am dealing the final blow. Whoa, that blows, the demon says. And then it's like, oh, it's Ma has opened. And my old man's like, you need to go in there and be careful. Like, stay safe. And then I click on it and it literally says entrance to hell. Like, how am I supposed to stay safe? I am entering hell through a gaping, fiery, demon mouth hole. Ah, visions of hell. Ooh, Ooh, a little demon. I was like, is that the devil? Because he looks like kind of like a twink. Like he isn't really high up on the power charts in hell, but... Oh, I have awoken, surrounded by candles. What is this? A black fog? Don't mind if I do. Oh, here comes, the, here comes the demon. So, I have no explanation to how my mind worked here. But the demon started talking to me. And I started pretending that he was my ex called Derek. I don't actually have an ex called Derek. Uh, but I do have an ex who did try to gaslight me a lot and who was kind of a dick. So, the devil here can definitely, you know, stand in those, uh, shoes, in those hooves, if you will, because, you know, devil. And anyway, I was like, oh, Derek, I'm just dropping by to pick up some of my shit, you don't need to be disrespectful. And he was giving me the whole spiel of, like, oh, you're here, and are you powerful? Or maybe not, just sort of being disrespectful. And I wanted to ask some questions, so I ask a question. And then his initial response is, wow, you're stupid. Why don't you already know the answer to that? Uh, I thought you were smart, but apparently I was sorely mistaken. That's cringe. This was a little offensive. And I thought to myself, Derek, can you not be civil for one conversation and not try to defend your own fragile ego by trying to put me down for asking a perfectly valid question about the existence of hell and the demons and my role in the world? 
But of course he was being a dick. He was always a dick, you know. That's Derek for you. Moving on, uh, I was going to say, so you're going to grant my wish? And then he said, well, if you break all the seals, if you're capable of doing that with your frail womanly hands and your feeble mind. And then I thought to myself, I will do all of this out of spite. And instead of wanting my beloved to come to life, I am going to murder you with my own hands, Derek. You deserve it. Alas, uh, he goes, yo, you can't leave yet. Uh, I haven't made you into a witch. To which I replied, of course you would make me out to be the witch. That's exactly how this relationship worked because you are a narcissist with a victim complex. Oh, there we go. Apparently now I'm a witch. Next he asked me, how many demons you want? To which I thought to myself, well, I know that one is traditional, but give me as many as I can possibly receive because that seems like pretty cool to have just a band of demons all around me. He laughed at that request, but ultimately said, yeah, I'll give you like three demons. Uh, three demons seems like a lot. Of course it does. Anything more than the bare minimum seems like a lot to Derek. The game was then saying, You just committed your first sin. Congratulations. You can commit many sins during the game, but you don't have to. And uh, the amount of sins that you commit will affect some conversations and endings. Interestingly so. I thought, you know do one sin, you might as well have done them all, you're already going to hell, and I mean, I'm a witch, so I'm definitely going to hell, I don't see why that matters, but apparently I don't want to commit all of the sins, just an occasional demon bartering, murdering sort of sin. Here Derek's asking me if uh, I want to take my old sweaters back, and I said, like, Derek, honestly, just do whatever you want with them, I am so sick of you. Please leave me alone. I want you to be out of my life. And then he uh, snorted in anger and then teleported me back into my granddad's house. At this point, I wondered, is this the whole prologue? No, it isn't. Our granddad is gonna go on a freaking rampage. Except the rampage is talking me to death much like i am probably doing to you right now i wonder how much of this is even gonna end up in the video because i'm already tired of listening to myself talk i remember nothing about this conversation um except something along the lines of uh wow well you did that pretty quickly i kind of dragged you back home by the braid because i'm old and frail anyway um you need to wake the fuck up. I know you just went to literal hell and bartered with the devil himself and was made a witch, so like all of your energies are weird. But there's no time to rest because there's people here who need your help. And also, I am frightened of your power, so I am going to butt into your conversations to attempt to uh, make myself feel good. Because that's what men do. Still talking. Oh wow, granddaughter, you're so powerful. You broke this one seal by just looking at it. You have already accomplished more than I ever have in my lifetime as a witch. And that is... Uh, Honestly, very bad for my ego. Fuck you. Uh, you little bitch. You will never be half as good of a, of a witch as me, even though you have already surpassed me. Anyway, the other seal is to do with a tree or something. Uh, maybe if you listen to this dude, you're gonna figure out what to do. 
I think at this point I made the mistake of asking him something else and he went on about how he was uh, one of seven children and I'm, I think I'm going forward now for sure but it doesn't matter though like you, you see what's going on you know um, he was saying how he was one of seven kids and he basically sent his brother to a forest demon to get killed and then vowed to never let a demon hurt his family again and then became a witch that then worked with demons his entire life. Not sure about the logic there, but he did warn us to, um, despite all the power, attempt to protect those we care about. To which I said, it would never cross my mind to send a sibling towards a dangerous eldritch demon to be killed. So now I was like, okay, let's get to work. And the granddad warned me that I got 40 days to deal with all of this. Um, in that period of time, it would be possible to bring my beloved to life. So, like, this is pretty new, you know. I kind of decided to become a witch just in a few days after him being dead. Um, and I remarked that it is interesting that they said 40 days because in Slavic culture, you grieve, uh, you grieve somebody's death for 40 days. Um, you wear black in grieving for 40 days if there was somebody who were close to you. Um, I made the wrong choice to talk to my granddad again. I don't think he says anything that's super important to, to the game. So, um, forget that that happened. Okay, now I'm finally in our house. I'm looking around. I'm mentioning, oh, this is a cellar. That's pretty cool. I also was mentioning, oh, there's a patron saint uh, in the corner there. Why do we have a patron saint if we are witches? That's something that's interesting about the game. It really does kind of bring together a clash of uh, Christian religion or Orthodox Christian religion from the Slavic areas uh, with pagan beliefs and witchcraft, which is so strange. Why and how does that work? Obviously, the presence of hell would sort of confirm the presence of a god, but wouldn't God want nothing to do with us and like declare us massive sinners if we are witches and about to fucking make many deals with many demons to, uh, I suppose, necromance my ex to life? I, uh, you click over there and then uh, the it just tells you that they used to burn people there, dead bodies. cool somebody dies and they warm you for the winter and that's very nice of them they're still useful even after they're long gone um this commentary has gone downhill fast you click on the book the book tells you about the cards many rules 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 um here's how to do things click on this click on that add to deck this was very gwent to me Oh, different abilities of different cards. Um, you can't use all the cards that you get. Some are beyond your level, but you'll get there. You'll be able to use them after a while. So I picked my card and it was finally time to uh, see the visitor, the owner of the mill, if you will. Here he come. He said, please listen to my plea. I have brought you flour. I said, with this flour, I shall make garlic bread. And because you have given me the gift of the ability to make a garlic bread for myself, I will listen to anything you have to say. I'm going to help you whatever you need, sir. Just bring, just, you know, keep the flour going. So the old man uh, mentions, um, I was working at the mill, it was nighttime, and I just kind of saw a demon there. And I thought, 
a demon. That sounds like a demon. And so I clicked on the option offering me uh, the dialogue of that there sounds like a demon, sir. It took a while for the game to explain to me the mechanic of choosing a correct answer. It, 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 it's a demon. So the dude thought, but I was just doing work. What was wrong with that? And I tell him, why would you be working at a mill after nightfall? That sounds like entirely your fault. And, um... Seriously, dude, just like go to bed at night. There's a lot of bad shit out there for some reason. Apparently the mill is cursed or along those lines. Granddad jumped in to be like, you're gonna pay us handsomely for this, right? Like we're gonna get rid of the demon, but um, my granddaughter here does not work for free. And the miller said, totally. I'm so good for the money. Granddad gave us the rundown. Oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, you need to head over here. And then we got introduced to the map, dude. So we have the main quest and the side quest. I thought I'm just gonna head over to do the main quest because it is the prologue and I can um, explore the full game when it's fully out if I care to. But right now, I care about progressing the storyline. Because we all want to see where this goes. So to get to the final uh, destination point, you need to make stops during the way. And every stop gives you a few options. Um, here, I heard something going on. I had the option to come closer. I Or like go around. I decided to just go around and avoid whatever was going on. There's also some side stops, as you can see. What I think uh, happens is it gives you these options and options lead to different outcomes. It uh, can lead to a good or bad outcome for you. Um, I think like the bad outcome would be like a sin or something. Um, a not great outcome would be an unnecessarily long battle with uh, some demons that were just hanging out or some just general bad juju. And then a good outcome would be you do something that uh, enhances your skills and gives you XP. Here it was like, do you want to mess with this offering that uh, the villagers left a forest demon? And I thought no, because I don't want all the villagers to be killed in their sleep. Moving on. Here we saw uh, two demons braiding each other's hair. And I thought, wow, uh, I'm gonna come closer and just uh, stare at them from the bushes. However, they caught me staring at them from the bushes. They called me a creep, and then uh, they jumped out to uh, battle me. So, this is me, battling the demons. Picking cards, you've already seen it, it's just that I have three slots now. Um, attack, attack, defense. Attack, attack, defense. Attack, attack, defense. They basically couldn't lay a punch on me the entire time we were battling because um, the uh, five defense cards were always enough to protect me from their attacks in full. So that's kind of how that battle went. And so, I defeated the demons, I went on, I saw an owl, I said a prayer, I got some XP, and we got to the mill. We noticed that the mill is like really run down, um, there's a lot of stories about people seeing demons and weird shit around and you really shouldn't be here after dark. But I'm here after dark because I ain't afraid of no demon. They're not ghosts, they're demons, but yeah, I ain't afraid of no demon, apparently. 
So I finally finished reading after uh, too long. I go to the backyard, I find the rusty axe, I use the rusty axe to break down the door. Now. There we go. Broke down the door. I have no regards for private property. Inside the mill we just kind of look around but nothing in particular happened so you just keep going upstairs. So I keep going upstairs, uh, looking around the mill, come across uh, this big hole in the wall. And the only thing I kind of had left was to look through it. And I was like, oh fun, little demons. And I was like, oh wait, who the fuck? This guy looks like he would uh, mansplain why Freud was really like a genius and completely right about everything he said. He just gives me that vibe. He asked me, uh, why do you think I'm here? And I said, is it because the miller is cursed? But then the character uh, actually said something different. The words out of her mouth were, is it because he was saying bad words? And then I realized cursed means more than one thing in English, and uh, that is confusing in this textual sense because context uh, did a bit of a fucky there. And then the demon dude was like, oh my god, of course you wouldn't know the actual reason I was there. Um, well, somebody made a blood sacrifice, so like... <laughs> generations ago so i'm kind of bound to this place unless you can kill me but you can't because you're not really powerful are you and then i said oh you're gonna go down sir fuck oh and suddenly it is next morning and i'm back to doing the voiceover Da 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 Cards da 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 Action There was probably some tambourine or something in the background because it's a Slavic video game inspired kind of Ooh I'm taking the time taking some time to pick out a good card I was like oh he's got fifty health that's a lot That's a lot Turns out I can just eat my Adam said herbs and get my health back Whilst he never heals because he's stupid. He thinks Freud was a cool dude. He thinks he had some good points. He's trying to attack me. And I'm like, protection, but also eating grass. And then my recording software crashed again and didn't record the rest of the battle. So we are coming back to our house in which grandfather was like, whoa, you like killed that demon. Good for you, granddaughter. You are so powerful. Didn't I already say you were powerful like four times in this 50-minute prologue? Yes, grandfather. You did say that. Um, I am a small, petite woman who did not want to become a witch, and yet I have already surpassed you in power. All you have on me is your years of wisdom and experience, except you've already mentioned that you're too old to remember things, so why exactly am I listening to you? And then it was game over, um, and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool game. It will be interesting to see uh, the full game and stuff, but I can see how it can get a little bit boring because of the fight system like um it's just it, it's simple it's straightforward it's easy to understand and that's all great um but just personally i'm not huge on strategy kind of games and that's what the battle system is in this one but still an enjoyable experience uh i think the game's gonna be pretty cool when it's out 
I did enjoy the animations. I really did enjoy the music. Uh, I'm sorry that you can't hear the music, but trust you me, it was nice. Uh, the game's called Black Book. The prologue is free on Steam if anyone's interested in playing it for themselves. Because it's probably going to be a chopped up little version with my stupid voice on top. Because of everything that happened. Uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you super soon in the next one. Bye for now.